today we're looking at uh, Volkswagen AS41 case that I'm contemplating putting back into service. This was given to me with the admonishment, uh, you better take a close look at it if you want to try to use it again. So, <clears throat> one thing I noticed, it's marked 040 on the top, I assume it's a 040 uh, line bore that's been accomplished. Curiously, this oil passage is plugged and this one is threaded. This one, of course, is threaded too, but it's also plugged. I'll assume that somebody ran a pump with a external outlet and ran a hose up to this point, defeating the front so-called pressure relief uh, piston system. So this isn't really an issue. I could take this uh, plug out, I presume, but I'm not sure I could ever get a stock cooler to fit on here. The little chamfer for the seals is gone. It's been drilled out. So that might actually uh, ruin this deal uh, right now. Anyway, honestly, that just dawned on me. The stock cooler might not work on that ever again. Let me know what you think. Um, on with the show. It appears to me that somebody took a end cutter in a mill and removed this metal on both halves of the case taking a corner of the cam bearing with it. I guess my question is, is this a common means of clearancing the case for a stroker crankshaft? I've got a 74 millimeter crankshaft I wanted to try in this. So here's the other side. So these would line up when the cases are together, of course. So I don't know that this is a concern, but I'm wondering if this is a common practice. I'm also a bit puzzled by the number of steps here. I know there's a means of remachining the thrust surface, but when we say that, do we mean this is the seal surface? I'm not sure what surface this is and then there's this surface. I can feel a lip right here so maybe this needs to be machined again and is this step always preserved when the thrust surface is remachined? I don't know. I could use some input there. And perhaps the greatest concern I discovered this epoxy all over the back here. So I'm not optimistic. There's probably a crack under there, although I couldn't see a crack on the back side. I will, by some means, remove that, probably with a, a wire brush in the die grinder, remove this epoxy and see what's underneath. I know that. Some people weld this area, maybe weld a plate over this or fill this with weld. The case was deep studded here, I can see. It's also got case savers all around. So what else do I need to check? I believe it's been bored out to bolt in 80, excuse me, machine in 88 size. I was thinking of opening it up to 94 and then using those thick wall 92's. But if the case has a fatal flaw, I need to figure that out, perhaps with your help. Here's something I just noticed. For the oil cooler, this has the tiny, I think this is a six millimeter stud. 
and this hole has been bushed down to that smaller size. I think only the stand-up oil coolers use these tiny screws. I believe all of the dog houses use the bigger size. This hole seems to have lost its bushing. None of these would be required if threaded fittings were used in both of these in place of the oil cooler. On a different engine, I remember taking it apart and it had a stepped stud here. It was a small size in the case and then it got bigger for the doghouse oil cooler. And I drilled and tapped that case for a bigger screw thread size here. I still haven't figured out how I might restore the ceiling surfaces for those rubber donuts to use the stock doghouse cooler on this again. But if I go that route, I'll probably knock this bushing out, drill and tap this for the larger size bolt. Not sure what we're going to find under here. I don't want to grind through the case with this, but since it's just a wire wheel, I don't think there's much chance of that happening. I'm also noticing for the first time there seems to be epoxy residue all around here also. So who knows what I'll find underneath. Well, I lost uh, patience and I switched to a uh, die grinder burr to grind through this epoxy. And I'm finding voids adjacent to the case and a lack of adhesion. Notice how easily that broke out. And here also, I was hoping to get into that crack. Yeah, see, this never adhered to the case or maybe oil got under it. But it's all just chipping out, breaking out pretty easily now. Frankly, I don't think this was adding much strength to the case with this little adhesion. Maybe I should have just started chipping at it to begin with because it's, uh, it's just coming out of here quite easily. So maybe I'll switch back now to the the wire wheel and polish this up. See if I can discern. Is there an oil leak here? Is there a crack there? I should know in a few moments. So I've removed all the epoxy and couldn't help but shine up all the surface with the uh, wire wheel. I don't know if this is a crack here or just a striation in the casting. Similarly here. But that's all I found. No, uh, no gaping crack certainly. I don't know, maybe someone just filled in that area thinking it would make the case stronger or was afraid of these little marks that they might be cracks. Not an open and shut case. Pun intended. Thanks and be sure and watch my other videos.